Hello, welcome to Cam's Arduino Tutorials. Today we are looking at the Bluetooth module for the Arduino. I've got the HC06 here today, and we'll use this to control a servo motor using the Arduino and also an Android phone. So let's get right to it. So let's take a look at the hardware now. Here I've got my Bluetooth device, and as you can see there are four pins on it. We have a, a power VCC, we've got a ground pin, We've got an, a TXD pin and an RXD pin. These will communicate to the Arduino. So let's hook this thing up. First I put it into my breadboard. And I wire it as so. I'll take 5 volts from my Arduino and put that here into my breadboard. I'll take the ground and put that into the ground in my breadboard as well. I will then power from my bread from the breadboard to the VCC pin I will take the ground and plug it into the ground pin on the Bluetooth device and then here's here comes the interesting part using the TXD on the Bluetooth device I will plug TXD and instead of plugging into TX on the Arduino I will plug to plug it into the RX pin pin number 0 on the Arduino instead and then I will take the RXD from the Bluetooth and connect that to the TX pin number one on the Arduino. This is so that the Bluetooth can talk back and forth using a serial input and output with the Arduino. So the Bluetooth device is now wired. Now let's connect the servo motor. I will take power. I've got my servo motor right here. I will connect the power from my servo motor into the rail here and my ground into the ground as well. And then I have one pin left over here and I will use that pin to connect to a digital pin. It doesn't have to be pulsed with modulation so I'll just pick a random pin. Now let's try 13. And now, believe it or not, the hardware is done. Okay, let's move on to software now. As we can see, we start out with a, a servo library, and then I've assigned the servo, this value, servo, that's the name of my servo motor. And then I've got a pin here, servo pin equals 13, so a uh, servo pin is connected to, servo is connected to pin number 13, as we showed in the hardware. Uh, position, this this value uh, will, will assign a value to where the servo will move to, and the Android phone will give you this, it will give the Arduino this value, as you'll see in the next section. So in the void setup, we attach our servo to pin number 13. We begin at a baud rate of 9600, and we'll print uh, the, the, uh, the words control ready, and it will make form a new line after it's said that. Now let's go on to the void loop. So when the serial dot available is greater than zero, or when, when there is data to communicate to the Arduino, then it'll assign a position based on the value it gets from the phone. So it'll read the value from the phone, and then it'll assign that value to the position using this parse int command. And if it reads a new line, then it will write the servo to the position. It'll assign the value to the uh, servo motor, and it'll move it to that position. And then a little delay here just to give the servo some time to get to that to get to that position. So after you finish that, you can upload it with this button right over here. You can click upload, and hopefully it'll upload. Now this, here's a little exception that I've found, at least for myself. If um, when I click upload, it will not upload unless I take the two pins. If I take the TX and the RX pins zero and 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 one on the Arduino, it will not upload unless I unplug those pins, and then it'll work. I unplug them, I click upload, and then as soon as it's uploaded, I put them back in and everything works just fine. You might need to do this. So that concludes software. Let's now move on to the Arduino app that we'll use. As you can see, I've got this app open. It's called the Arduino Bluetooth Servo Motor. It's a great app. Uh, it's got great reviews. I click open. I've already downloaded it. And here I've got the app open. I click connect to Bluetooth. Now I like to look at the hardware first. I've got my Arduino plugged in. And it is, as you can see, there's a red LED blinking on the Bluetooth module. That means it's ready to receive any signal that's out there. 
So going back to my app, I click Connect Bluetooth. And as you can see, it recognizes it. I've got HC06. I click here. And as you can see here, the light has gone from blinking to just on and no blinking. That means it is connected. And I'll bring my servo into view here to show you what happens. I've got my servo motor here. Now I take my controller, and as you can see here, I've now got a slide bar, and I've got positions. So I take my my app and my servo, and I'll show you what happens when I click some numbers. I'll click 45, and it moves to 45 degrees. I click 90, it goes to 90 degrees, and etc. Also, I've got a little slider here, and I can move it to any position I want. And I've got a little wheel here. I can turn it and move it to any position I want as well. So that's that. There's the app. And here and that's the hardware and the software. I hope everything is good to go. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below, and I'll be there to answer them and help you as best as I can. Thank you.